ਸੋਨੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੀ ਸੋਨੀ ਤਸਵੀਰ ਤੇ ਖਿੱਚ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਲਕੀਰ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਲਕੀਰ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਾਨ ਤੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੁਪਤ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਏ ਇਹ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਤੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਫਸੀ ਏ ਜਾਨ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੀ ਜਾਨ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੀ ਆਨ ਤੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੀ ਬਾਨ ਤੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੀ ਛਾਨ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਇਹਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਡਿਲੀਵਰੀ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਤੇ ਕਿਸ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਚੀਫ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਜੇ ਬਿਆਨ ਪੜਿਆ ਜਾਏ ਤੇ ਲਾ ਮਨਿਸਟਰ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਬਿਆਨ ਪੜਿਆ ਜਾਏ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਮਾਨਯੋਗ ਜੱਜ ਹੋਰ ਨੇ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਕੋਰਟ ਦੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਿਆਨ ਪੜਿਆ ਜਾਏ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਉਹ ਬਿਆਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਮਚ ਡੋ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਥੋਥਾ ਚਨਾ ਬਾਜੇ ਕਨਾ ਔਰ 33% ਬੇਲ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਕੋਰਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਬੇਲ ਐਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਨਿਪਟਾਰਾ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਕਿਹੋ ਜੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਟੂ ਲਿਬਰਟੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਦੇ ਤੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਅਨਿਲ ਪਾਠੀਆ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਬੜੀ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਨਾਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਾਬੂ ਤੇ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੇ ਸਤਿ ਅਕਾਲ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮੱਚ ਐਸਾ ਅੱਜ ਇਹ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਡਿਲੇਡ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਡਿਨਾਈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੇ ਵਾਪਰਿਆ ਆਪਣੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਾਣਾ ਤੇ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਜਰਾ ਤਾਣਾ ਬਾਣਾ ਵੀ ਕੀ ਕੀ ਵਾਪਰਿਆ ਬਲ ਪਤੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਡਿਲੇਡ ਇਜ਼ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਡਿਨਾਈ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਓਲਡ ਮੈਕਸਿਮ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਪਰਸਨਲੀ ਫੀਲ ਦਟ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਡਿਲੇਡ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਡਿਨਾਈਡ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਡਿਰੇਲਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਸ਼ੌਕ that there is a current report of niti ayog of 2022 and filmin study which has stated that are about 5 million cases are pending in this country in various courts and about 70000 cases both civil and criminal they are pending in supreme court alone and 2 million cases are awaiting justice for the last 30 years so the scenario is very grim dismal pathetic and tragic also i don't know what for our constitution has been framed which is a beautiful charter there is no denial about our constitution and the makers of the constitution but the people who are managing this constitution at present they have caused a great harm to our wonderful constitution now the dispute on the feud between the government and the supreme court on the collegium system regarding the appointment of judges in the supreme court and high court is in public domain now they are at loggerheads the government says we are the pay masters and we will appoint judges the supreme court says this is an encroachment by the government on supremacy of judiciary but the supreme court should also realize that as far as the law is concerned parliament is supreme and the various provisions of the constitution cannot be altered or amended or changed by the supreme court the sole power is vested with the parliament alone and the soul of the constitution cannot be allowed to destroy it. of course now only today the law minister has issued a video clipping of justice r s sodi a former judge of delhi high court who once said that the supreme court has hijacked the constitution now this is a very dangerous statement that how the apex court of india can hijack the constitution so there is a flash point between the judiciary and the executive i am reminded that socrates a great philosopher once said that the superb quality of a human being is to be knowledgeable and the ignorance is a degrading demerit so this is the thing which is going on in our country in the name of justice which to me is a far cry for an ordinary man the duty of the court is not to legislate but to expound the duty of the court is to iron out the creases given in the law the duty of the court 
is to interpret law and not to formulate, formulate the law. Only yesterday, a judge of Punjab and Haryana High Court has delivered a judgment that a judge must deliver a judgment in a dispassionate manner, using rationality, precision, and truth. And his judgment should be objective and not subjective. But I'm shocked. I've seen in several cases that the judges of the High Court, they rely on the post amended Act. Now, it is a settled principle of law that every amendment in a statute, prima facie, is prospective and it cannot be retrospective. But they say, no, you see, you go further. We have delivered the order. If you are aggrieved with that order, you challenge our order in the APS court. And why so? Because there is no accountability. And the Supreme Court, after 10 years, will write down only one sentence that the judge of the High Court erred in his judgment and his judgment is set aside. But they don't realize that the man who has suffered, he has already wasted 30 years of his precious life. I am reminded of haiku. Haiku is an epigrammatic Japanese poetic form in three lines. And haiku says that grief is a soloist. And it shuns the band of solace and camaraderie. Only Ravira knows where the shoe pinches. The judges don't realize that how a litigant has suffered for a number of years and how not only the litigant but his family, his life, his career, that has also suffered. But they don't bother. They think only of themselves. And that is why very worthily we call them as my lords because they think that upar aka niche ye legal kaka. Next one, the great legal luminary who compiled the legal dictionary, he once said that the solemn and pious duty of the court is to suppress the mischief and advance the remedy. But here, the mischief is being advanced and there is no remedy at all, even as per rules and in accordance with law. Our judges must realize that howsoever they high may be, but the law is above them. And they, the judges should not only be dispassionate, they should be compassionate also. So the onus lies both on the path as well as on the bench also, because they are not supplementary to each other, they are complementary to each other. <coughs> An advocate should present correct facts, correct evidences, and the judge cannot deliver his judgment simply on the basis of conjectures or surmises. He must deal with all the aspects which have been presented before him by the litigant in his petition and not touch only one point and deliver a judgment which is contrary to law and which is per inquiry. So, my dear friends, it is high time that people should wake up and they should be aware of their rights, the so-called fundamental rights, and they should come forward and fight for justice and equality. This Who's is so, what I want to say. Whosoever raises his voice for the system, for the judicial system, or for the uh, inviting uh, judgment and good and bona fide faith, they are gagged with either contempt notice or slept with cops. Well, but you know, I am reminded of a famous song by Mohammed Afi about uh, which, was, which he sang in 1950. And this is the scenario which is still prevalent in this country because might is right. Many glaring examples of contempt of court for the last five years coming in the judgments of the Honorable Supreme Court of India. If uh, these can be analyzed or the government is uh, observing the rule of law, it is a question and uh, the government itself flute the Constitution of India while appointing the non post of Deputy Chief Minister in their states and uh, there is no law for the government and law is only for the we the people of India. Yeah, of course. That's of course. Now this is a mockery of our legal system and I would like to call it as travesty or miscarriage of justice.
and even the high court judges don't bother about the judgments of the apex court when the apex court claims that we have laid down the law which is applicable throughout the length and breadth of the country but i have heard judges saying openly in the court that i don't agree with this judgment you go for that is there any scope of uh, judges versus judges now coming up in the uh, future of the country well i think the onus lies more on the learned advocates they must tell their judges to act in accordance with law and they should deliver a speedy justice not to the detriment of the poor helpless and hapless litigants thank you sir for uh, joining hands with me for the sake of nations constitution judicial system and administrative system along with the government Thank one thing so one thing i would like to say that even our judiciary is very soft on executives i don't know whether there is a symbiotic relationship or something quid pro quo but they are very soft on our executive who openly violate and flout the rules and regulations and they are knowing fully well after 20 years the person will succeed but he will lose his valuable time of, of life of and course. everything of course of course Now sometimes if if a poor man comes to me that I want to file a case, I say के हाथ जोड़ ले यार तू कोर्ट में न जाइयो ना लोअर कोर्ट में जाइयो ना हाई कोर्ट में जाइयो तेरे तीस चालीस साल बर्बाद हो जाने हैं and the result will be zero whether you are a gainer or you are a loser. From these so-called heroes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So nice of you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> give me a big hand for this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. ऑफ कर दे दस मिनट दस मिनट दस मिनट